you are watching my YouTube channel, I am Akmal Habib. In the first part, I have discussed about the inspection by QCL sulfur extended as for plant before production of sulfur. This is part 2. In this video, I will teach you about the inspection by QCL sulfur extended as for plant during the production of sulfur. I will teach you about how to calculate the blending percentage for each sieve size and compare to design JMF limits and I will also teach you how to calculate the batching weights for your production of asphalt. Let's start. During the production of asphalt, weights for batching, stockpiles of all aggregates, cold beans, temperature of aggregates, temperature of bitumen, mixing, timing and selection of trucks. Consult the latest report of sieve analysis. Select all the passing percentage for each size of aggregates. 1.5 inch, 1 inch, 3 4 inch, half inch, 3 8 inch, crush sand and filler. Consult the sieve analysis reports. For example, here 1.5 inch select passing percentage from here similarly the aggregate size 1 inch select passing percentage from here and 3 4 from here and select the passing percentage of aggregate half inch and select the passing percentage of aggregate 3 8 inch select the passing percentage from the test report for sand and select passing percentage for the filler. Now make on your computer an excel sheet. Write all aggregate sizes on left column. Write all sieve sizes on the top. Then put the passing percentage of all aggregates one by one. For example here passing percentage of 1.5 inch. Then put the values for passing percentage of 1 inch. 3 4 inch, half inch, 3 8 inch, sand and filler. Consult the design and select the percentage required for all aggregates individually. Here is an example of design percentage for base course class A. Aggregate size 1.5 inch is required 30%, 1 inch is required here no requirement for 1 inch in this design 3 4 inch required 10 percent half inch is required 10 percent 3 8 10 percent sand is required 35 percent filler is required 5 percent so total should be 100 by weight of aggregate now you put the values of percentage in one column and multiply all the percentage passing with this individual percentage for example 1.5 inch aggregate all passing percentage of 1.5 inch aggregate is multiplied by 0 0.30 because 1.5 inch is required 30 percent similarly all other aggregates 3 4 inch is multiplied by 0 0.10 because it is required 10 percent and half inch all passing percentage will be multiplied by 0 0.10 because half inch aggregate is also required as 10 percent and passing percentage of 3 8 inch is also multiplied by 0 0.10 because it also required 10 percent and now sand sand is required 35 percent so all passing percentage will be multiplied by 0.35 and filler is required 0.05 percent and all passing percent will be multiplied by 0.05 so now this percentage individual percentage will be multiplied and all values will be changed into new values now you can add from top to down to calculate the value percent for blending as you can see the sieve size 1.5 inch giving here blending value as 100 
and the save size one inch is giving blending percentage value as 84 similarly you can calculate all the save blending values now console the design and put the values for design jmf and compare all your blending percentage values with the design jmf values as you can see here the first four C is giving the exact value as design jmf value but the sieve number 38 is giving as 53 blending percentage value but 53 is inside the jmf limit because our design jmf limit is 52 plus minus 5 it means 47 up to 57 so 53 value is also correct so you can calculate the blending percentage and match with the design jmf one by one all your calculated blending percentage should be inside the design jmf limits now calculate the weights for batching consult the approved design and select the weight of bitumen within the limit of approved design here is an example 5.2 plus minus 0.4 percent is the design limit for bitumen it means you can select any value 4.8 to 5.6 example i am selecting here 5.4 percent which means 54 kg bitumen in 1000 kg which is 1 ton consult the approved design and select the weight for sulfur it is recommended 30 percent of sulfur by weight of bitumen if bitumen is 54 kg then 30 percent of 54 is 16 kg so bitumen is 38 kg which is 70 percent and sulfur is 16 kg which is 30 percent so total is 54 kg subtract the 54 kg from 1000 kg which will be equal to 946 kg is the weight of all combined aggregates write aggregate size in one column and write percent use for aggregate in another column now calculate the weights of aggregates one by one here is example 1.5 inch is used as 30 percent we have to calculate 30 percent of 946 because our total aggregate is 946 kg after subtracting the weight of bitumen so it will give the value of 284 kg same as calculate the weight for 3 4 inch aggregate half inch aggregate 3 8 inch aggregate sand and filler now you have calculated all the weights in kg now inside the control room the operator system put all these values one by one select stockpiles of aggregates all stockpiles should be uniformly mixed otherwise it will not give a uniform mix all stockpiles should be at a distance of 3 meters so the loader can move easily and aggregate of one stockpile not mixed to other stockpile. Stockpiles should be free of clay material. Stockpiles should be in dry condition. Move the material one by one in cold bins. There should be separate cold bins for all aggregates. Avoid mixing one bin material to other bin material. Ensure that all cold beans discharge gate is working and aggregate from each bean is transferred to belt properly. Move the aggregate from cold beans to dryer. Here note the temperature of all aggregates. Aggregate temperature let to be as 145 centigrade then you check the temperature of bitumen you can check the bitumen temperature from the gauge with bitumen tank or you can check directly from the operating system then you select the mixing timing select mixing timing as 30 seconds 
Before starting the mixing, ensure that mixing unit is clean from inside and there is no hardened asphalt inside the mixing unit and discharge unit downside. Selection of trucks. All trucks should be cleaned by diesel and there should not harden asphalt inside the truck. All extra diesel should be removed over the truck. All trucks should have tarpaulin to cover the asphalt after loading. Mix 2 tons of asphalt and discharge in the truck. Then check visually if asphalt is good then continue your production. If asphalt is not good like uncoated or looking fine or looking coarse then you can make new adjustments. You can increase or decrease the percentage of aggregates. You can increase or decrease the weight of bitumen. Here is an example that asphalt is looking uncoated and looking fine. So we have to increase the bitumen and we have to decrease the fine aggregate. Look at the previous percentage. We were using filler as 5% and sand as 35%. Now we have to reduce the filler by 1% that is from 5% to 4% and if we decrease the filler 1% then we have to increase 1% by any other aggregate so we increase the sand 1% so the total should remain the 100 so sand before 35% now it is as 36% if your blend values are inside the design JMF values, then your selected percentage is correct and you can further calculate the batch weights. Now calculate the weights by new percentage and put all these new weights values in operating system again. Mix again 2 tons and discharge in the truck. Then check visually if asphalt mix is good then continue your production and wait until the truck is fully loaded after the truck loaded stop the truck at sampling point take samples according to aramco standard for extraction save analysis and martial properties after testing in the laboratory review report for extraction and sieve analysis according to Aramco standard. Review the report for martial properties according to Aramco standard.